Hey, sixth grade, and welcome to 4.3. Today, we'll be discussing areas of trapezoids. And for our learning target, it is I can describe how to find the area or areas of trapezoids, okay? And if you don't know what a trapezoid is, it's um, a shape similar to this one here. And um, a trapezoid has is a quadrilateral that has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So here you'll see that uh, B1 and B2, those are the bases, these are parallel. They look, if you were to continue those on forever, they would never touch. Okay, they look like railroad tracks. So that's what a trapezoid is. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to find the areas of trapezoids. Um, it's a little bit lengthy of a formula, so I would definitely suggest writing it down. And just the more practice you get with it, the better you'll get at using that formula, okay? So that formula, um, um, let's, let's figure out what that is for algebra. In words, it says the area of a trapezoid, so um, A equals, uh, is in math usually means equals, one half the product, so um, half times, product means times, of its height and the sum, so adding, of its bases B1 and B2. Okay, so half of the height and um, the sum of its bases. So I also need to multiply the half and the height by the bases added together. So this would be B1 plus B2. So it looks a little bit confusing, uh, but I think you get the hang of it here after we do a few of the examples. Recall similar to uh, triangles that our height makes this 90 degree angle. So from one base to the other base, whatever line makes that 90 degree angle, that's the height that we need to use, okay? In example one, it says finding the areas of trapezoids. Find the area of each trapezoid, okay? Again, first I'll do, uh, so for letter A, I'll write my formula. A equals one half times the height times the bases added together. All right, so half times my height. How tall is this trapezoid? It's six feet tall. Times my bases added together. Base one, I can call five plus base two, nine plus uh, five or five plus nine, it doesn't matter there. And when I go ahead and do all this math, it'll give me my area, okay? Well, parentheses comes first. So five plus nine would be 14. So a half times six, well, half of six is three. And then three times uh, 14 would give me a total of uh, 42. And so this would be area equals 42 feet squared. Remember, uh, to include your label um, on these problems. All right, let's go to uh, letter B now. I wonder if I have purple as a choice. I don't see it. Oh, maybe if I go here. Oh, there we go. All right, so letter B, I'm gonna do something similar. Uh, one half times my height which is five, times my bases added together. Well, 8.5 plus 11.5, okay? When I do that math, I would come up with um, half times five times, uh, that would be 20, eight and a half plus 11 and a half, well, eight plus 11 is 19, and half plus a half is one, so that give me 20, okay? And uh, five times 20, well, five times two is 10, that is zero, that's 100, and then half of 100 would give me a total of 50 meters squared. Okay. Go ahead and try out the two on your own problems here and uh, see if you can get the right answer. 
Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to do that for the first one. You'll notice what's different now is our two bases are on the sides and our height is right here. Okay, so half times five times um, our two bases added together would be 12. Uh, so you should come up with a total of 30 millimeters squared. And then for uh, the second one, you should come up with a total also of 30 inches squared. Okay, so you got 30 for both of them. All right, let's try that then when we have a grid that we're working with. So it says finding the area of a trapezoid on a grid. What's the area? Well, the first thing that I like to do is I like to find my bases. So um, this side and this side definitely aren't parallel. Um, this side is parallel to this side. If you continued those lines on forever, um, they would never touch. So my base one, I'll call this, is two. And from here to here is one. So oh, one of my bases is one and one of my bases is two. And then I need to find the height. Well, my height, remember, is just from one base to the next. So it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six units tall. Again, that would create this 90 degree angle. So if I counted six uh, units for my height, all right? So um, area equals half times my height times the bases added together. Well, two plus one would be three. So six times three is 18, and then half of 18 will give me nine. So the correct answer would be letter C. Um, for example three, our real life example says you can use a trapezoid to approximate the shape of Scott County, Virginia. The population is about 23,200, but how many people are there per square mile? Okay, so what we need to do first then would be to find the area of Scott County. And then we can take that divided by um, our population divided by how many miles we have to figure out how many people per square mile there are. Okay, so let's find the area first. Half times my height. Uh, my height is 20 times my base is added together. So 15 plus 38 for my two um, bases. Okay, uh, doing a little bit of multiplying then and adding well, 15 plus 38 will give me a total of 53 times 20 times a half. Well, half of 20 is 10. And 10 times 53 would be 530, and that would be square miles. So then the question reads, how many people are there per square mile? All right, well, I know my total population is 23,200. Uh, that's people. And my total area is 530 miles squared. If I divide these two, that will give me people per mile. Okay. So if I take 23,000 and divide it by uh, 530 here, you would come up with uh, your answer. So um, I'm just going to plug it into the calculator here for time's sake. And two. 3200 divided by 530 will give me a total of, now it says uh, 43.77, but um, it says about, so I'm just going to go ahead and round that to about 44 people per square mile. Okay, why don't you go ahead and pause the video, try the last one on your own, and see what you come up with.
All right, hopefully you had a chance to do this. And first, again, I like to find my bases, so my two parallel sides. Uh, this one is one, two, three units, and the other base is one, two, three, four. These are parallel to each other. And uh, then uh, my height, again, just from, uh, from one base to the next, one, two, three, it's three units tall. So area equals one half times the height, which I found was three, times my two bases added together, seven for that. Okay. So when I do that, seven times three is 21. Half of 21 would be 10 and a half. Since there's no label there, I would say units squared. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions on trapezoids and I would be happy to help. I will see you next time for 4.3 extension.